What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about an extension that allows you to quickly create parametric shapes inside of SketchUp. And before we get started, I wanna thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Suminder Singh, Eli Sayers, Mukundrai Patel, Andy Melaregno, Mihai Pavel, and Tarun Ansa Savando. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on this channel is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to vote on the extension that I cover the, every week, maybe support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But this week, my patrons voted. They selected SU Draw Parametric Shapes as the extension we're going to cover. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plug in name, SU Draw Parametric Shapes. Plugin Developer, John McClenahan. Plugin Cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp Extension Warehouse. Tool Functions. One of the things people find a little bit annoying about SketchUp is there's not really a tool contained in here that'll create all of these different shapes. Like usually if you're going to create a shape, what you do is you draw an initial shape and then you extrude it to create the shape that you want or if you're trying to draw a sphere you draw a pair of circles kind of like this and then you use the follow me tool in order to create the shape that way and that works fine but it does require some knowledge of the program and the way that these shapes work and it's also a little bit time consuming as well so while you have while you can do that in a base SketchUp installation, this extension makes creation of these shapes a lot easier. And so what it does is it adds a menu inside the draw section of SketchUp. I don't believe it has an actual menu in the drop down over here. Um, but inside the draw section, you just go down to 3D shapes. This is the menu that it adds. And it gives you all of these different kinds of shapes that you can draw. And the nice thing about these is they're very simple. You just select a kind of shape and then you adjust the radius and the other settings in here in order to create the shape that you want. And so you can also adjust things like numbers of segments, which is going to adjust um, how how detailed these shapes are or how smooth the faces on these shapes are. So like for example, if I was to go in here and draw another cone, I could draw a cone with 32 segments instead of 16 segments and then draw that. And I have my hidden geometry turned on so you can see the difference. But you can see how when this extrudes your shape around this circle in order to create the cone, the base of it has more segments if we do this. And so what that allows you to do is that allows you to really adjust how detailed these shapes are. And each one of these shapes has its own um, has its own number of inputs or type of inputs. Like for example, if you wanted to draw a sphere, this is also going to give you an option to set the radius as well as the segment count. And so when you do this, you can create these shapes pretty much the way that you want. And there's some simple shapes in here and then there's more complex shapes like a torus, um, things that are a little bit more complex than shapes that you would usually just come in here and draw. I mean, you could definitely draw a shape like this um, inside of SketchUp and use the follow me tool to extrude it in a circle, but it's a lot easier to just have a menu in here that allows you to do this. So another option is if you wanted to create like a ramp or something like that, you can adjust something or you can create something that has a radius of whatever you want. So like for example, if I wanted this to have a larger end radius than a start radius, as well as a height, there's all of these different things are contained in here that allow you to create different kinds of shapes. And so one of the things that I really like about this extension is it allows you to edit the shapes. So like for example, these are all of the shapes that this extension can create. Um, so you've got your ramps in here, you've got your helix, you've got your pyramid. Well, all of these are editable, um, meaning you can go back and change the parameters. So like for example, let's say the sphere, I wanted this to have more faces in it. So let's say I wanted this to be a little bit smoother because it's a little blocky around the outside. Well, all you have to do to change that is just right click on it and then go down to edit sphere. This adds that option as a part of the extension. Well, now let's say I wanted this to have eight segments per 90 degrees instead of four. I can just click OK and what that's going to do is that's going to make that change to the shape. 
So you can also use that to change things like the size of the shapes. So like for example, if I wanted this dome to have a two foot radius, I could just go in and change that. And so the other nice thing about this extension is what it does is it creates these as component instances. So like for example, if I take this dome that I created and make a copy of it, because it created this as a component, I can edit either one of these. And then when I make a change, like let's say I wanted this to be a one foot six inch radius, both of those options are going to change because they got brought in as components. And then if I was to come in here and I was to draw a new dome, like this one, and let's say I wanted this one to be three feet wide with eight segments, it would bring a new dome in as a different component instance. You can see how this new dome gets brought in as dome number one. So if I bring in a new dome, it's not gonna change the ones that are already in here. It's just gonna create a new instance. So you can, you can use this multiple times to create multiple different components really easily inside of your SketchUp models. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Do you find this easier than creating these shapes manually? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.